Hello, my lovely air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It's time for your ghost reading. It is, we're gonna take a look at who ghosted you, why, and what they're up to these days. Just a quick shout out to Sesame Street. I found it, I did, and the grass is not greener over there, okay? So Sesame Street for Tarot, you got nothing on me, all right? We are here to look at air signs and who ghosted them and why. You guys, if you need a personal reading, click below. All my information is there. Please like, share, subscribe. The September special is $40 for the how do they feel about me spread. It's normally $75, so reach out. I do have some availability. I do. All right, let's take a look at Libra first. Libra, who ghosted you? The second card is why, and the third card is what they're up to these glorious days. All right, let's take a look at Libra. Who ghosted Libra? Why, and what is this person up to these days? Show me Libra, please. One more shuffle, Libra. One more. All right, Libra, who ghosted you? Why? And the third card will show us what they're doing with their time these days. Are they still ghosting, Libra? Let's take a big fat look. All right, Libra, the person that ghosted you could be a Leo Sag Aries. It's no wonder they're in the goddamn reverse because this is a, a little bit of a womanizer. Can't be trusted, can't depend on them, right? They have no loyalty and well, they're just a big fat liar at times, all right? And they're not taking action. So why? Sorry, I had to cut out there for a second. Why they ghosted you, the Queen of Pentacles, could have been for a big fat earth sign, Virgo, a Capricorn, Taurus, or well, maybe they were just a little bit self-centered, all about themselves. All right, Libra. What they're doing now, well, they're living the single life. So they're probably more into themselves than anybody else with this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. More Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus energy. Uh, this person's all about their coin, their independence their wealth, their money, they're independent and single, Libra, okay? This person that goes to you, Libra, could be the king of wands in reverse, fire energy, Leo Sag Aries, just not dependable, all right? A ladies' man or a ladies' or a, you know, the woman that's after all the men. I don't know, a thirsty girl, okay? They're in the reverse, that's all we need to know. Why is this king of wands here, please? Why is the king of wands here? And the Seven of Pentacles, a Virgo, a Capricorn, a Taurus. This person's just kind of waiting around, probably to see if the choice to ghost you was really worth it, right? Putting some time and investment into something, but not much because they're the King of Wands in reverse. All right, Libra, why they ghosted you is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. It could have been an earth sign that they left you for, but I think this person is just, well, a bit of a gold digger. All right, Queen of Pentacles in reverse is really kind of self-centered. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for why they ghosted Libra? And the Chariot, well, maybe they just decided to focus on themselves and, well, travel. All right, they moved ahead. They wanted to get some type of success, hint, hint, gold digger in a different direction. Maybe they traveled abroad with a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. You just don't know. Well, it doesn't look like it worked out because they're the Nine of Pentacles now, Libra. Why are they the Nine of Pentacles now? Why did they take the money and run and now they are just all about that coin? Why is the Nine of Pentacles here for Libra's ghoster? Well, the sun. They're having some happiness being out on their own because they have the coin. Because they probably took it from somebody else, got what they could, and then they just scooted on out with that chariot energy. And now they're all about happiness. Maybe they took that money and went on a vacation to a warm, tropical, sunny paradise. All right, Libra. So this person was probably all about the money. So good riddance. All right, Libra, good riddance. Gemini, who ghosted you? Second card is why, and the third card is what they're doing now. Let's take a look at Gemini and their phantom. Who ghosted Gemini, why? Third card is what they're up to these days. All right, Gemini, who ghosted you? Let's take a look. 
Let's take a look. The first card is who this person is and why and what are they doing now? Why did they ghost good old Gemini? Let's take a look. Universe, show me the ghoster of Gemini. Why they ghosted and what they're doing with all of their free time now. All right, we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna do it, as I always say, do it. All right, let's take a look, Gemini, and see what we have here. All right, the person that ghosted you could have been a Pisces, right? They're kind of just hanging around. They're in limbo, feeling a little bit stuck, are they? Okay, why they ghosted is the world. Well, they wanted an ending. They wanted a fresh new cycle to begin in their lives. Maybe they had some lessons to learn, Gemini. All right, they needed a new cycle to begin. They needed an ending and a new beginning. What are they doing now, Gemini, Queen of Swords? Well, they may wanna communicate the truth with you or they're just being very emotionally detached and closed off. They are in the upright now, so well, maybe they learned a lesson about ghosting you, Gemini, and now they're gaining clarity, they're communicative, they're honest, but emotionally detached, okay? So this person may wanna communicate the truth with you, you never know. The Queen of Swords is the no BS queen. This person who could be another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, they're cutting through the shit, right? Because they closed out a cycle, all right? But they're still feeling a little bit stuck. How to move forward and open up that new cycle. Why is this person for Gemini, the hanged man, sign of Pisces? Ace of Cups. They're stuck on how to open up again for new love. They want to offer new love. They want new love. Maybe they want to resurge the love with you, Gemini, but they're feeling very stuck on how to do that, how to give that requited love. Why they ghosted you, Gemini, is the world. They needed to close out a chapter, have an ending so they could begin again, perhaps learn some lessons. Why is the world here for Gemini's ghost? Why they ghosted Gemini, why? Oh, well, isn't that just cute? The world in reverse, all right? But they still lacked some closure. Do you know why, Gemini? They wanted to start a new cycle. They wanted to end it with you. But guess what? When you ghost someone, karma comes back and there's unfinished business. So even though they closed out the cycle with you by ghosting and disappearing, they still felt a little guilt, like there was a little unfinished business, okay? What they're doing now is the queen of swords, cutting through the bullshit. They may wanna communicate the truth with you, right? But they are still a little bit emotionally detached, cold. All right, could be another air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Why is the queen of swords here, please, for this person? Yes, more air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They're moving on to calmer waters and cutting through the bullshit cutting out what no longer works for them in their lives. They could literally be traveling or moving, but they're having some type of resolution, but they still feel stuck, stuck because of unfinished business. And that's what happens sometimes, Gemini, when you don't do things the right way, and that's why I'm here. All right, Aquarius, you are last, but definitely not least. Aquarius, first card is who ghosted you, second card is why, and the third card is what is Phantom up to these days? Show me Aquarius's ghoster. Second card, why? Third card is what is the ghost up to these days for Aquarius? Show me Aquarius, please. Let's do this, Aquarius, and see who ghosted you, why, and what they're doing these days. Show me Aquarius, please. All right, Aquarius, we're gonna cut it and do it. We're gonna do it, let's take a look. All right, this person might be a big fat attention whore. Aquarius, Leo, Sag, Aries, perhaps. They're all about recognition, they like attention right? But they didn't go about it quite the right way when they ghosted. Why they ghosted you, the Four of Cups in reverse, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They may have feel like they missed some type of opportunity with you. Maybe you weren't giving them the attention that the attention whore wanted, okay? They missed an opportunity, so they just hit it. What they're doing now is the Six of Pentacles. Well, maybe this person's just charitable all of a sudden. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but they're getting balance back into their life after they ghosted, right? Because they're all about the attention, apparently Aquarius. So let's take a little gander and see why is this person the Six of Wands? Fire energy, Leo, Sag, Aries. Why are they an attention whore? 
Aquarius, why? Why is the Six of Wands here, please? Why is the Six of Wands here? Well, yeah, because they just may be a trickster. Could be a Aries or a Gemini, right? But they're all about manifesting, creating, right? But they also might be very manipulative on top of that Six of Wands. He's the attention seeker, right? Why they ghosted you, Aquarius? The Four of Cups in reversed reversed or reverse each whatever they may feel like they had to miss an opportunity with you for some reason or maybe you needed to miss an opportunity with them they just probably weren't getting the attention that the attention whore was seeking why is the four of cups here please why is this four of cups they were not emotionally happy right because you probably weren't giving them the, re the recognition that they so desire why is the Four of Cups here? Yes, the Six of Cups in reverse, more Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. They were having some negative thoughts about the past, right? Thinking about the past, could have been thinking about a past person as well. But with the Six of Cups in reverse, it's negative thoughts. They could have been clinging on to the past too. And so they missed an opportunity with you maybe to go back to the past. Let's clarify it again. Why is the Six of Cups here for why this person ghosted Aquarius? Why is the Six of Cups here please. And the eight of wands. Yeah, they may have been communicating with somebody from the past or they just felt the need to move on because they felt like they had to miss an opportunity. Sorry, I had to stop there for a second and cough. Maybe there were a lot of negative memories on the past. Maybe you guys had some, some past history with some issues, um, but they felt that they needed to move on. And again, they could have been communicating with somebody from the past. So they up and left. What they're doing now is the Six of Pentacles. Maybe they're trying to find balance in their life again, or they may be giving and receiving with somebody else, possibly somebody from the past. Well, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. This is good old karma coming in. It is in the upright, so it's about change. You know, change coming in suddenly that they really have no control over. It's destined. So whatever they're doing now, whether they're giving to somebody else or, again, having balance, it's all about change and the wheel moving in the direction that it should be, which is telling me, Aquarius, it's a good thing this person ghosted you because they're just not meant for you. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here for what this person is doing now? They may be learning some karmic lessons exactly with the Two of Wands, Leo Sag Aries. They're trying to pick a path. They're at a bit of a crossroads because karma is coming into play. They have um, some type of decision to make, but it's destined. It's change. It's change time for this person, and they could be giving to somebody else. I'm just throwing it out there. So air signs, there you go. I love you guys very, very hard. Love me hard back. And I will see you very soon because, well, I'm not a ghoster. Take care.